Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside Air Gamer. Welcome to OMG2 and welcome to a very special live stream tonight where we get to look at the next beta, beta 10 of Akala. And uh, yeah, so here we go. So Akala, we've been very lucky uh, that we've been allowed access again from Fully, so a big thank you to himself. Now, the beta actually came out maybe two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, uh, but I was actually away when the beta was announced and released. Um, and obviously Eamon and Joe Dobson did some great videos. I'm sure most of you would have seen them by now. Uh, so I was kind of like, uh, do I, don't I? And I was like, what I will do is live stream it once I get a chance. And today is that chance. We were going to do the West Country, um, but we decided, you know what, let's have a look at this. So the big changes from the last time we streamed this is the X9, which is what we're going to be looking at today uh, in this absolutely fantastic repaint. I wish I could make repaints this good for our buses in the company. It, it makes me so sad how crap mine are. But anyways, so yeah, so I've not had a go of it. I've not had a look. This is literally my first time as well. So we're going to get to look together, see what you guys think. We're going to go do a couple of runs there and back maybe. So we're really just focusing on the X9 tonight. That's the uh, the main the main thing. But yeah, it looks brilliant, doesn't it? Even the area looks really nice. Oh, look, Premier Inn. My favorite place. Okay, let's just have a quick little look at the stops before I say hello to everyone. So it's not a massive route. It's about 30 minutes. Uh, so we're going from Bromford Station, College, Granley, uh, Newgate, Rivergate, Tilehurst, Railway Street, Hayden, Queens, and then into the uh, Michigan Station. So yeah, I'm quite excited actually to look at this in all honesty. Uh, hello to the people that are here this evening. Uh, Harrison Lang, good evening. Colin, Imran, hello. Uh, I didn't get, you know what happened last night? I was going to go get the kebab. And literally as I was about to walk out the door, it absolutely funded with rain. And uh, I have a big driveway and I would have had to run to the gate to open the gate. So I said, you know, F it. I'm just going to stay home. <laughs> so, no, I didn't get one. I didn't get one. It's quite upset. Uh, B. Wow. Dot, good evening. Uh, Haran, good evening. Uh, just Jace, M4, Mike Ray, good evening. Hello. Uh, it's a cracking looking bus, isn't it? It's just... Oh, makes me so jealous because it just makes me look how crap I am. Um, I couldn't do anything like this if I tried. But I love the colours. I love the, uh, the wishy-washy. Yeah, it's lovely. I actually can't wait for this to come fully out so we have this in um, BCS. But yeah, the repaints are excellent. Absolute excellent. So look, frequent flight up to 30 minutes. So there's a couple of routes that are available from here. I did look at the timetable briefly. Uh, if we just cancel that, we'll go into that timetable. If we go into the X9, I notice that we can go from... Uh... That goes into Arcala. That's the same thing. Maybe, maybe there wasn't. Maybe it was just me thinking that there was a slight variation. Uh, yeah, so that's going into the airport. That's going into our Carla. No, it's just going the other way around, isn't it? I'm just, it's just me being an absolute donut. Anyways, uh, which one was going now? Was it two or three, Ruin? Uh, 10.50. No, it wasn't three. Was it two? Okay, we're currently at uh, Bromford. So, okay, maybe it was four. Oh, bloody hell. I've lost where we were. Uh, 10 10 so here we go so we are going from Bromford station to michigan okay ignore what i was saying i thought there was a i thought i saw a different variation it must be in my eyes uh you got dominoes didn't it oh love a bit of dominoes daniel smith good evening just had a mcdonald's eight quid had a mccrispy chicken meal mozzarella dippers i do like those mozzarella dippers but i really like the tomato sauce that comes with it though it's not very nice okay so look uh Bromford station let's get into this let's start doing our first little run let's uh turn on the bus
Okay, the bus is in gear. That's why we're not going anywhere. Interesting. Okay, there we go. So we're not dry here for a couple of minutes anyways. Uh, I hope it's close to release again. So these are the only things I don't know. I have no idea how close it is. I don't know when it'll be available. I can't share the map obviously with anybody. Um, so don't ask me any of those kind of questions. Yeah, I have no idea when it's going to be released. No idea. I don't also, I don't have the Avora. I don't have that bus uh, to be able to show you either. That obviously won't come until probably closer to release or maybe they'll do something different with the bus. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I don't have that. So we're going to make do with what we've got. Uh, I need to get OMSI. I've watched quite a few videos. It looks good. Yeah, it, it, it's awkward but good. Awkward but good, shall we say. <laughs> it has its moments. OMSI does definitely have its moments. Okay, so look, uh, we're pretty much good to go. We've got two minutes, so we'll just fast forward the time. We'll get driving and get to check out this route and see what you guys think. It'd be great to see your feedback. Hopefully I don't get lost. Now, one thing with showing off Akala is I struggle following these route markers. I'm always one for the minimap. Uh, so good luck to me. Assuming I can only go one way, I can't really mess this bit up. Uh, can you drive the B7 voice next? Um, I'm just kind of trying to drive the ones with the repaints that are available. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. There might be something there, there might not be. Alrighty, 10 seconds. Time table ends here, but please look further. Okay, so maybe it doesn't end there then. <coughs> Donna Kebab is it? Oh, so lucky. Dominoes, Dominoes, Donna Kebabs. Everything that I want. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's get a move on. Let me know if the volume's too low, too high. Be a nice turn in getting out of that one. Ah, look, he's gotten flashing. Do you think he realised that I always get lost? I like that. Much better than the other ones. Okay, we're going towards the airport. You had an Italian mama burger and chips. Actually, I had fish burgers this evening <coughs> for a change. Did I go the wrong way already? I don't know, but this way looks cool. <laughs> Should we go under and have a look? Oh, don't tell me I've gone the wrong way already. That's just embarrassing. No, I haven't. Talk about McDonald's though. There's one there. But yeah, what a junction that is. Ugh. Even in real life, I'd hate that. You're messing with me. You're all messing with me. Uh, Busman's become a member. I think that's your membership renewal. So thank you if you are watching. Hey bro, I like fair stream, nice. 
restart the route. I mean, if we have to, we'll have to. Look, I, I'm I'm terrible with route markers and maps. Absolutely terrible. I'm not going to Alcala though, am I? I'm going to the airport, I thought. Oh, maybe this is why I've got myself mixed up. Oh, bugger. <laughs> Scenic route. We know what we can do. We'll just skip back uh, to where we came from and we'll just try that again. See, that was just me testing everybody. Um, nothing happened, see? We haven't started the stream yet. Just forget everything we just did. And uh, I, I will start a new timetable. Okay, that's the 1010. So if I go to 2, maybe. Uh, oh, there's like a big gap. I've got to find the right one now. Uh, 1050. That'll do, won't it? I can't believe I got it wrong. Okay, let's move the time forward then. So that was 10.50 now, wasn't it? Okay, let's try again. The last time we covered this... I also went wrong in the first like 20 seconds. So all is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart ass. I was just checking that people were actually watching. Okay, second attempt. Yes, we are going to Arcala. I think the airport did uh, throw me a little bit. All is good. This is why no one asks me to test anything anymore. Yeah, towards the color. That's what we want. Hey Adam, good evening. Nobody's moaning yet. Uh, it's, it's, it's very early in my day. <laughs> I can't believe I just balls that up. Careful, it's the Rosas. Making sure I don't go the wrong way again. My god, I forgot. How slow is this bus to get off? Go, go, go. Yeah, I think Doris wants to get off. Or not. I 
I'll be honest with you, I don't think that's my bus stop. <laughs> don't know why I stopped there. Here you go, this was our bus stop. The one with the air links. Hey, Kelly Edwards, good evening. Uh, we're making an absolute crap of this. I get some nice screenshots though. Really like this livery. Oh man, there's great so far. Liveries are brilliant as well. <clears throat> yeah, what I've seen of the Aurora looks nice. I just can't imagine how many hours has fully put into this map overall. Been developing it since I think it says 2018 on the front. I wonder, like, if you added up every single hour, how many hours? I mean, this map is huge. Okay, I missed my turn in. That's good. Bit of a nasty corner, isn't it? Passengers weren't like that fast. There's so many maps out there that's payware quality. I mean, come on, look at West Country 3, what I've done so far of the 1A, 1B. Like, I'd pay for that any day of the week. And damn Rosses again. Big T, why are you showing this route when you can't get the map anymore? Uh, the map is getting released in the future. This is a beta of the map. It's um, 
going to be released with the payware bus. The map will be payware as well. Whoa. Yeah, it's a, it's a work in progress. My van flickered. Yeah, there's always lots of uh, funny points all over the map. I don't know where they all are. I was on the billboard. Hey, it's Sam. Hello. Well, we'll go backwards and forwards a couple of times anyways. Whoa, look at that speeding car. How am I going to get out of that? Transport Gaming, good evening, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm not too bad. Hey, Spaceman, on a scale of 1 to 10, what was your opinion of this route? Also, what is the best map you've played so far on OMSI? Uh, well, I haven't finished the route yet, so I won't give a, a full opinion. But uh, look, it's still a work in progress. But the map itself, we all know how beautiful Ocala is. Uh, we've said it many, many times. Lily knows how to make a nice map. I always thought Ocala was going to stop at those kind of two routes, but it's kind of nice that he's ex extended it. Always worries me when people go bigger, you know. Will they ever finish? Uh, but best map I played on OMSI? Uh, I don't know. I, I play a lot of other maps. I play a lot of left-hand drive as well. There are some fantastic maps out there. Um, each of them are unique for their own reason, depending on what I want to drive and how I want to drive. So I don't really have a favorite. Uh, I think the new update to West Country at the moment obviously is ahead because it's kind of new and uh, it's quite exciting. Um, but like I like for Bosha Lands, uh, Crumnab I really like. Uh, I haven't tried the new one. There's that new uh, Newton Guard version two. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, so yeah, look, there's loads of cool maps. We're so lucky. We're actually very blessed with the amount of content we actually have. If you drive both sides of the road, you know, we have so much. I mean, this area looks lovely. Ah, 
Ah, it's gonna come out. This this map will come out. When? Who knows? The problem is, we don't know how much time, free time he has. Like, is he spending every hour under the sun on it? Probably not. You know, I'm sure he probably has a job or something. Um, I think that's always the biggest thing, isn't it? I think the new Berlin 100 uh, route is very good as well. I think they've done a really, really good job that. I'm turning right here. I'm turning right here. Any maps and have unique in their own ways. It's really hard to choose. Yeah, like I said, I do a lot of left-hand driving, so, like... It, it's a hard one. But I think every map has its own unique little thing. It all depends on what bus you fancy driving on the day, I find, sometimes, as well. And, uh... If you like me, you'd actually make the turns. The, uh, the wall caught me out there. That's it. Put it up on the curb for everyone. Partnership is a great map, especially with the line pack. For me, the, the route's too long on its own. With the line pack, it makes that, that map so much better. Um, only because I don't like driving one and a half hours each time I play Onzi. For me, I'm more of a, you know, half an hour, 45 minute driver. I'm quite happy out. Otherwise, I get a little bit bored. I'd rather do like three or four journeys than one really long journey. But that's just me. Yeah, I'm assuming I'm going down there, right? That's not a cool kind of bus stop. Something a little bit more unusual than what we're used to. Give it those arrows for a minute. Uh, what's the issues with it? Uh, it just it just needs completely updating. I haven't played it in a very long time. I know during the run there are things missing and stuff in it. That's such a good feeling when you finish a long route. Do you think? I don't know. I mean, maybe the bus driver and me from real life, like... I mean, it's always a relief after long distance. Because I'm always busting to go to the toilet, so there's nothing better. A little man there walking in the older uh, houses. Okay, so we're going towards Akala. So we're taking the left. Hopefully it makes the routes run well into the night. The only thing with right-hand maps. See, yeah, that is the biggest problem, but that's because like, we're, we're BCS users. Um, anyone with normal OMSI doesn't give a crap. You know, there's timetable all day, but yeah. I, I, I think the timetable, well, I mean, we can check the timetable so far how late it goes. We'll see when the last runs are. But being an airport shuttle run, I'd expect this to be nearly 24 hours, no? We'll find out in a minute.
Oh, that map's long more than 10 years old, I'm sure. Yeah, I like country driving as well. I like a good mix. I do like a good mix. Uh, for me, if I had to choose, I mean, I like this. I like the stuff I drive in real life, even though it's obviously very long. But uh, I, I like cross-country driving myself, going from town to town. I don't really like the stop, start, stop, start, stop, start stuff. That's pretty cool. The mud. A bit different, isn't it? Not sure what's going on there. You like more of the X service. Yeah, I like X services as well. Well, that's kind of like doing more kind of, you know, town to town stuff. Yeah, I'm a bit worried why it's so blank. Installed the patch, I'm sure. Fine, I didn't watch them all the way through. Didn't want to spoil it for myself. I'm sure Doris is on the bus somewhere. One thing about OMSI cars is where they just change lanes. Oh, crap. I feel like those people might work for the Conservative Party, running, walking the wrong way down a motorway, hoping to be run over after today's results, eh? He's off-roading. He's going to crash into me if I like it or not. This is the other kind of repaint I quite like. A color rapid. I mean, every six minutes. Town I'm in, buses are not good. They're pretty much always 20 minutes late. Drives are extremely heavy on the brakes. <laughs> That's not good. I mean, we're always late here in Ireland as well because the traffic is insane. We don't have any A roads and stuff around the cities or ring roads. So to go two miles in rush hour takes like friggin three hours sometimes.
Hey Sean, good evening, how are you? You feeling better? A bus stop for me? I can't tell by the sign. Oh, there's poor cars going in the gate. Crash! You wouldn't want collisions on, would you? Yeah, it's, it's not the driver's fault though. Like, if traffic is heavy, traffic is heavy. There's no, there's nothing they can do. Like, you're supposed to run on time, but you know it's just not possible. That's quite surprising with Irish Rail, like, I find that they run quite well on time this way anyways. I mean, there's only one train every three hours, so it's hard to get wrong, but... Oh, nice. Uh, see you later, Mike. See, the, 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 the worst thing with buses, like I said, is traffic. If a town does not have, um, you know, bus lanes and stuff like that. See, in Galway City, we have something like only 12% of route coverage has got bus lanes. So, like, if you don't have bus lanes, you're going to sit in traffic with the rest of the people. There's nothing you can do. Now, a lot of towns and cities weren't built to be so busy, and it's very hard then to redesign the roads and stuff like that. You just got to make do with what you can do, you know? <clears throat> to be honest with you, they, they can see us on the computers. They know when buses are late. And look, if it's traffic related, there's nothing they can do. So they don't bother anymore, really. We never radio. Unless, like, I'm looking to go on my break or going home and how are they going to get me back or get me back on time. Uh, other than that, yeah, we don't radio. They watch us, they, they contact us if they need anything. I feel like this church is everywhere I go. Oh, nice. How was it? Um, the only bus lane, yeah, the only, we got the old Dublin Road is the only bus lane we have that goes from GMIT. But it only goes to the bottom of that road. Uh, so there's no bus lanes in Galway. It's a huge problem. There is one on the west side for like half a mile as well. And that's another place that's gridlocked.
It's always handy when a bus lane where the bus doesn't fit. <clears throat> when people don't want to get, when uh, when people refuse to pay, I just let them on. Like, I don't fight people. I can't be asked. It's not my money. You just tell the inspector if he comes on. It's not worth the argument. Yeah, Limerick's not too bad. Limerick has the smart traffic light system as well, so it's supposed to work in tandem. Every get taxis in the bus. Well, taxis are allowed to use bus lanes. So you can't can't do nothing about it. Uh, well, our inspectors don't hear. They, we, you know, that's how we're trained here. Don't argue. Don't fight with people. Don't get out of your chair. You know, if someone doesn't want to pay, just just let them on. It's not it's not worth the hassle for two euros. Now, a bit different when we're doing long distance stuff because you know tickets can be up to 40, 50 euros. But um, like city stuff, it's never worth the aggro. We're we're taught just let them on. Just let everybody on. Screw it. You gotta remember the government pays so you just put through what we're told to do as drivers is just put it through as um one of the cards that you get like um the free travel passes and that just goes towards the percentage of how much money we get per year from the government so they don't really care here as long as you've done something people don't you know fight or argue let them on Yeah, even for us, our inspectors, they don't really come on the buses anymore. You might you might get one the odd time. Okay, this is Haddon's Queensway. There's my mouse. I'm assuming we're just going straight on. But yeah, inspectors don't even get on the buses, to be honest. All our inspectors just stay in the office on the computers. They don't they don't go out. Like here in Ireland, no one will bother you for anything. It's great. Even in the UK, to be honest with you, when I did National Express. The inspectors never really you might get the odd inspector at uh, london victoria and it wasn't for the passengers it's generally for the driver to make sure like we were wearing our badges and like if we didn't wear our badge and got caught or if we were wearing the wrong shoes or if we weren't wearing our tie if it wasn't a hot day um we'd we'd get into trouble okay maybe this was my stop i'm all confused no. Um, so actually, the only inspector at National Express we ever used to get was London Victoria, and the reason why is uh, National Express uh, have given out all their routes to independents, and so they they get uh, say like National Express will supply them the bus, um, the uniforms, and all that kind of stuff, and it's up to the third parties to. I'm not going down there, am I? Uh, make sure the third parties have all their stuff. So, like, a lot of them won't wear uniform or, you know, wear their own jumpers or trainers and stuff. So, all it all it does is basically make sure... I am freaking confused here now. Oh, I so had to turn right there.
Oh no, I'm well confused here. Did I mess that up? Air links turn right. Am I going down here? I'm a little bit confused. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's kind of what used to happen. So it was mainly the independents they'd get. So basically, if they didn't have a badge, they'd get fined. If they didn't wear this, they'd get fined. If they didn't have all the stickers on the bus, they'd get fined. And there's a way, basically, for National Express to recuperate their money. Um, they're all gonna cross that note. smart business to be honest with you because they'd be caught all the time but yeah london victoria would be the only place now that like i said they would never check passenger tickets but only it'd only be the driver we'd get screwed i love these you'll get a thousand plus subscribers and 1500 views in seven days it's guaranteed results uh what's that from is it that sprizzy advert Well, what happened was National Express were going bust. Uh, that's the year that they changed the contracts from the old contracts to the new contracts. Um, but what they did, they sold up all their, their routes apart from their main depots, which were Stansted, uh, Heathrow, Birmingham, and I think there was one more. We were the main depots, and I worked for Heathrow, and we were a proper National Express depot, buses, all that kind of stuff, so it was a bit different. But they franchised all their routes out and then if the buses were late or didn't have this or that or they sent the wrong bus for whatever reason they'd recuperate all their money in fines okay now i'm talking i'm just getting so confused yeah we are going straight on apparently this guy wants a ticket Okay, well, I don't get botted on live streams anymore because of the, um, I just turned to subscriber mode only. I can't believe I'm three minutes behind talking to you guys. I'll lay by there. Uh, this is not my arrival though Major bus companies radios are no no I believe um, no radios are allowed depending um, Long distance coaches are allowed radios because of uh, traffic diversions and stuff we are allowed uh, See buses here, I mean but look there's, there's no right or wrong with it the, the main problem they get with radios isn't the radio itself, it's the drivers played them too loud and passengers just got get pissed off with it all. That's that's the, the, the bigger problem. Oh, hang on. Let's say something here. Can't read it because the box. S service only. Not... Do not stand here, use lay-by down the road. Okay, I'm assuming this is where we can let people out. I 
Okay, I don't know what I've done here. Hey, Alex. How's it going? But yeah, the reason why they wouldn't let us have many is uh, mainly because uh, radios is mainly because of people complaining. People complain too much. Yeah, well, the new buses that came from the government didn't have radios. Come on. All those new yellow and blue ones and stuff and the new MMCs, they just came without radios. I suppose it's meant to turn there properly, right? I think this is the lay-by we're supposed to use. Yeah, I've a little bit confused myself. Oh, there you go. That's the end. What we'll do, we'll go back the other way now. Uh, let's just see what how late does that go into the night at the moment. Okay, that's eight. Oh, maybe only to about eight o'clock in the evening at the moment. Okay, 23.10. Uh, see, look, they're going to go well into the night, so that's good. All right, so we want to go from... Um... Okay, the X9 to Bromford Station, right? There we go. We'll work it out. We'll go back on ourselves. McGill's taken over National Express Dundee last year. Seen in the yeah, they they gave out a load of their stuff. Yeah, they send messages through the machines quite a lot now. Like we have a thing that beeps and just tells us it pops up for a couple of seconds, or they just phone through quickly. They'll just like uh, you know do this or do that. Just depends. Any bus can come with radio. They all have a, a little slot. Like if we look at... The, no, this one's not a good example. Yeah, this one doesn't have a radio slot. But all the other ones have like the black casings. All our radios are up here usually. Alright, so let's try and make our way back. So what did we think of that so far? Apart from me getting lost and a dreadful mess of that. What do you guys think? What do you think? Uh, 11.59 at the turning circle. We'll take you. Okay, so we go from the turning circle, Michigan Station X9. So there's two there, but it's just one. And then all the way back. Let's see if we can do it without getting lost too much. I do like the X route. It's a bit like I prefer the shorter routes, and I know the other one is quite long. Um, not that it doesn't help me getting lost, but um, yeah, for me, I, I love the shorter routes and stuff. So, like for me, all day long, I would happily sit on this rather than going backwards and forwards on the on the main one. If we just cancel our timetable for a second, if we go to uh, the 60s, what time are you running to in the evening? Just out of interest. See, that's going all night nearly, look. It was 18, wasn't it? So, yeah. Going all the way up to midnight, which is great for us as a BCS player, so the timetable's good. 
that sugar now. I've got to find which one we were. 11.59. It'd look better if I didn't get lost though. Hopefully Flea doesn't watch this back. That's all I can say. That's all we can say. Okay, so look, um so I'm just moving some things around. All right, doors shut. Let's uh, let's try and find our way home. Uh, Ryan Devore is the biggest grabber for me. Yeah, and and that's what it would be like. You know, some people are like that. They just want certain buses, and they they don't really care for the maps and want the buses. Or some people want the maps and don't care for the buses. Yeah, look, everybody uh, everybody's different. Hey, Ryan, you just subscribed as well. Thank you. Um, Okay, that's interesting. Why are the old alerts coming up? But if any of you watched the stream on Monday night, that's how our plane stream ended. I did crash into the ground. So, is our first stop here now then, on, on that other side? Oh, and followed the bus. It's got the little air sign there, so I'm assuming that's uh, that's our stop. Oh, here's fine. Any landing you walk away is a good landing. Uh, well, I don't know if you were there on the stream on Monday, but we did not land. It's real shameful because I am doing my pilot's license and uh, simulators always catch me out. <laughs> Scott, so VTSC broke. Real few prices is saying no mismatch, but I have the latest file. Can you disable the file? Apparently it's updated frequently. Okay. I'll disable the real fuel prices then. I can't do it until I get off the stream because unfortunately I have to download my um, SII files for it to work. Hang on. We're leaving five minutes early here. Are we? Yeah, I didn't. I, 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 one of my engines didn't work. I tried to emergency land and we just fell out of the sky. Ah, uh, you know me, I like to keep it interesting. Find that friggin' ATR rubbish. Does anybody want to help me run the uh, ETS server? As in. When things like this go wrong you can help look after it because i'm not always available because you have to keep going into the command mode you have to download the ssi you need to upload it okay let's try and make our way back we can hope oh, i missed the green light well that bloody changed fast didn't it Uh, so when basically what happened was uh, my flight plan for some reason was completely wrong 
and after I got clearance I had to change it it wouldn't let me change my flight plan uh, things that just weren't going the way I wanted them to go and then we just ended up one engine just wouldn't work it just stayed flat but the aircraft was saying it was working it was really odd I do have the room markers on, don't I? Hey, look at this lady doing a nice dance. I haven't drove the street deck in ages, to be honest. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's my favourite. I find that very confusing. It says turn right. But if I turn right... Do I go down there, I wonder? Could have made a bit of a boo-boo there. Ah, uh, basically I, I was just getting a bit annoyed and uh... I just wanted to get down, and it was taking too long, and then I just didn't look at my speed. There we go. Then round to the left. Uh, there's no estimate. I'll be honest with you guys, you'll all know before me when this is getting close or if it has a release date. I'm sure Fully will announce it to everybody at the same time. People don't like to put a date on things because you just don't know and you put a lot of pressure on yourself. Sometimes it's better just to keep quiet and when it's ready, it's ready. For some reason the bus in front's missing its repaint. <clears throat>
Oh, there's two buses missing repaints now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it would be, but like I said, the server doesn't, not, I couldn't see it earlier and I was looking again, it doesn't give you any options for mandatory, uh, optional mods. And some of them in there I, I quite like, like the icons and stuff, but, um, the fuel prices, I mean, if it's been updated, it's been updated, not much you can do about it, really. You're gonna pull out, aren't you? Who are you? Ace Transport Gaming, it'll come when you cheer up. Maybe. Oh, the Rosas. I'm in the wrong lane now. Nino, Nino, Nino. Be good to, if the crash made the bus be broken. Ah, yeah, but it's an old game. But even like Busting Twenty One doesn't really simulate it. Also, that's got a big update coming on. Is it the seventeenth or maybe it's before? I can't remember now. But I've seen that there's a big update coming, so we might have to play some Busting Twenty One next week. Every car. People in the car are very rude. Uh, nothing will ever beat Omzi. You know what? There is one simulator out there that could um, in the future, depending on what happens with it. And it's the same people that made SimRail. They're also making a bus simulator. If they make a bus similar, very similar to SimRail, there could be some good competition. Um, I mean, we all had hopes with the bus. Now, the thing with the bus is it's not finished. Multiplayer mode will come soon. Um, depending if third party developers will start getting involved with map making now that the map tools are out. I mean, the bus the bus technically has an opportunity to, to be one of the better ones, but until we... Uh, I think a lot of the problem the UK OMS uses until we get something UK, nothing will be OMSI.
But yeah, so if uh, the dead bus sim comes out, it could be a uh, it could be pretty decent. Way too close to the curb. When did Omzi first come out? Two thousand and one. Bloody long time ago now. I think we all had hope for the road. There is one thing on the road that I like, and it's the uh, the boarding of the cargo, but that's where it kind of stops, I suppose. Again, German simulator for German people. They love it. They love that kind of stuff. They're very lucky. Anything Aerosoft-related, you know, is always very heavily German, of course. Um, but yeah, I think we all had high hopes for the road. It just, it just didn't work, did it? I've seen that there was an update maybe a month ago or something. I don't know if it's any better. Uh, I never actually put it on the channel. I, I, I just didn't like it. But they have some good things on there, you know, with the tacos and stuff like that. Like there are elements of the game that were thought about, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not great. And also ETS, like, you know, nothing out there is going to beat that for a while. If ever. So I need to do Microsoft Flight Simulator, but bus, trains, trucks. Well, that's what the Sim Sim Rail people have done in, out there in Poland, and they got the new German route coming, uh, new steam train coming. They said that there are some UK routes in the pipeline. Don't know what locos and stuff, but like it has an opportunity. And that's that Tories again. Uh, you're gonna do a wee flight, no worries. Where are you gonna fly from? You're gonna fly that ATR thing. Um, pro mods? Well, I think that's like with most games. If the modding community is open, I think games definitely have a lot more appeal. It's the ones that refuse to because of money. So Pro Mods basically is a map extension to Euro Truck Simulator. So right now we obviously have Euro Truck Simulator pretty much across all of Europe. What it does, it adds a lot more roads and uh, networks around Europe. So basically it like doubles the game. and. Technically it's free, or you can pay a pound and get a faster download, which generally I just pay the pound. Okay, these are the cars going up the wrong way on the roundabout. Um, now, we don't use it for convoys and stuff. Well, it's not actually available for the 1.47 version at the moment. Uh, mainly because it's just more mods that people have to have, and it's a bit of a pain. As you can see already, there's a mod broken the server already. These are the things that are a bit of a pain. Ah, oh, you're going to do the same flight. Nice. ETS could implement getting out, refuel, load up. Ah, it'd be so cool if they could. For me, it's just like dirt on the truck would be awesome. I know they're not allowed to do it because of licensing issues, but just just something that made it feel a bit more used. Like you got a truck and you've done 200,000 miles and it looks mint. Always find that a bit of a strange one. Yeah, it's it's a lot more detailed. It's structured on more real real life routes and roads. Yeah, I, I hear ETS is very good in uh, VR.
I've always thought about dabbling in a bit of VR on the channel, but I don't know how it'd work for live streams and stuff. I've not really thought about it that much. See, the other thing is that I can play ETS on my Steam Deck. Um, but again, can't play with pro mods. Well, you can. There is a way to do it if I download Windows 11 and put Windows 11 on it instead of Linux. But that includes a lot of fiddling, so I'd rather just uh, keep Linux. Hey, bus fan. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Yeah, I don't think it worked very well with the streams. I don't think there's a way to read the chat. I used to make a lot of ETS videos and stuff, but people don't watch them. It's a bit like my OMSI videos. No one watches my OMSI videos. I get more of you come to a live stream. But, you know, the thing is, is I don't just focus on OMSI. And it, it costs me dearly as a channel that I play so many different games. Because people that are interested in this aren't interested in any of the other crap I do. So my channel is kind of butchered by myself, unfortunately. Some people like all the different games, but it's very few. But it's my choice. Main reason is so I don't get bored. <laughs> like, a lot of people wanted me just to be a flight sim channel. Start. But I can't fly every day. Generally, like, when I fly at home, like, if I'm off, off the channel, I'm generally, like, repainting buses. I'll put a plane in the air and leave it while I'm doing stuff or whatever else I have to do. Yeah, I'm good, mate. Hey, what's happened to my chat? My chat's disappeared. Hang on a second, I just got to refresh my page. Everything's gone. Okay, there we go. Nah, this game will never come out. Um, the, the two people who created this fell out. So, it, unless somehow they got back together and they redesigned something or did something, but nah, this will never come out for PlayStation, Xbox, nah. This is a PC and it's never gonna change now. No one has the rights to change. That's why it's never been updated, really. Well, in fact, it doesn't. The, the core game never gets updated. Maps and stuff can, but obviously the, the main game itself doesn't. Nothing happens. Don't get me wrong, though. I, I do enjoy flying. I, I fly in my own time. You know, I've been learning to fly for the last year or so. Um, like, I enjoy flying, but yeah, I just couldn't do it every day. I don't know how some of them simmers do it. This is the one. I mean, it's only exciting for about 20 minutes of the whole stream. And I have to cheer up when I'm in pain. So, uh, yeah, that's why I'm a bit miserable. So, I'm flying the CL650. You still haven't flown that thing? Jesus Christ. How much did you pay for that? It's a waste of money. It's 650. I'm trying to think, I might actually have the 650. Is that the hot start one? You see, I've got some planes there that I've never even flown. Um, uh, towards Bromford. My biggest problem is, is that I fly so many different things as well, where people will just fly what they're comfortable with, or a lot of people will practice loads. I just fly anything.
Uh, definitely fried chicken will be back. We'll probably live stream it next week, one of the days, like on Tuesday or something. But yeah, I'm not going to make it into a video series. There's, there's, there's no point. Uh, we've already done it from the beginning. It'd be easy if we stream. I don't think I missed a turn, did I? Ah, it is a great game. I love definitely not fried chicken. So what we'll be doing, of course, Sunday, we'll be doing F1 because it's F1 weekend. They're in Miami. You'll know I'm a big F1 fan. So we'll be continuing on with our Mercedes playthrough of rebuilding Mercedes. Uh, Monday, we'll be flying as we always fly on a Monday. Maybe Tuesday, I'll do definitely not fried chicken. The X-Crafts, yeah, I saw Q8 was flying them this evening. They, they do look good. They're still missing some things, though. Uh, but they, they do look really good. They said there was going to be a discount for people that already owned them, so I wonder what kind of discount we're going to get. Yeah, I'm quite excited for them. We'll, we'll be flying them. We'll be definitely flying those X-Crafts ones. Now, if Q8's got them, I'd say it's not going to be long. Maybe a week or so. They're going to get released. So probably not this Monday, but next Monday we'll probably fly it. This Monday, I'm not sure what I'm going to fly. We're going to fly something... Uh, we might take the Zebo again, because I enjoyed that, and I'm still trying to learn it. Or we'll probably take an A319 or something, I don't know. We'll, we'll find something to take out anyways. Uh, the F1 stream last Sunday was really interesting, for anyone that didn't uh, see that. It was, um, we actually ended up nearly watching a full race. We got Hamilton from nearly at the back of the grid down to, uh, to what was it, third he came in the end or second? I can't remember now. So yeah, we'll see what discount they give. See, some of the flight companies have been quite nice They've because it's just an upgrade. But those planes, the older ones, they've needed a bit of an update for a long time. So it's been desperately needed. So I'd say they're going to be... Uh, quite heavy on the price I don't think they released the price for him yet not that I saw unless he said anything on the stream I don't know if you've been watching it yeah it looks like we're doing a Zebo. yeah I don't mind doing SnowRunner again I play a lot of SnowRunner on the Steam Deck you can join me in the evening so I just play on my deck when I'm in bed I play a lot of SnowRunner I've got all the maps there I, I find the problem with SnowRunner is getting people to turn up to the streams believe it or not but again uh, i'm not i'm not against snow runner i'll play some snow runner on wednesday even if we want but i i need to do different maps that's the thing i could really do with streaming the newest stuff well that 380 was supposed to be out last christmas remember everyone was getting the hype that it was going to be out i think we'll get it this christmas it'll be our christmas present i reckon Uh, I'm the person who was, yeah, Cold Mine Simulator. Yeah, I play everything. Uh, one thing about my channel. Oh, there's Joe on the billboard. Did I miss him again? Which billboard is he on? Here we go. Major Simpy. <laughs> nice. And causing a bit of a backdrop. Yeah, so uh, I, I play everything, mate. I, I, anything that's sent to me, I play. We, we just have a bit of fun here on the channel. I like my transport stuff, but I do try and squeeze in everything else. Clearly, I, I think the other reason why it's been delayed, like a lot of the other developers, the flight modeling and the, C, uh, the SDK for Microsoft Flight Simulator has been changing so much as they've been building on the game. That I think because every time they've made something or make something, they have to rewrite their code, redo this, flight dynamics are not working. So I generally believe they've been getting all the modeling in and getting the switches and stuff to work, but they're waiting 
waiting for it to kind of like you know be a final version kind of thing nearly and that's why it's taken so long that's why i think anyways because like even like pdmd have had so many issues and they're saying the reason why we don't have an efb is because of the sdk limitations from microsoft which is odd because you know the one thing that a lot of the other aircraft have are great efbs like the phoenix has one of the best efbs i've ever seen just a shame now that the plane doesn't work uh it, again it's a plane that needs updating version 2 is coming at some point who the hell knows when Hopefully it's straight down. I was looking at the chat then. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that EFB. I mean, we don't want a complicated one. Basically, you want one for your fueling, your passenger numbers, and your weights, and that's all you really want it for. I don't care. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't need to connect to VATSIM like the Phoenix have done. I mean, if they made one like the Phoenix, happy days, but if it didn't, and it just did me the bits that I need for the plane instead of going through the FMC and stuff like that and the load on Microsoft Flight Simulator, I'd be happy out. But yeah, it's a bit... Um you know they can update the planes they can bring out more planes they're about to bring out their next plane but we can't get an efb but they you know think how many people at that, that very it was the very first boeing that was decent apart from that captain scam crap you know how much money they made on them opening days for that 737 700 was it the 700 that came out first i think it was wasn't it um and then basically charged us again the same for the 600 and the 800 they must have made an absolute fortune. But yeah, just a basic one, just to get us going. Like I said, if it, even if all it did was just to wait some fuel. That, that'd be enough for me right now it doesn't have to connect to you know all my charts and all this stuff like eventually of course that'd be great but i'm not you know it'd be nice just to have something that could control the weights and balances and stuff it just speed up performance times like you know getting getting the plane set up getting it out Like, I flew the Zebo the other day, and I still think the Zebo flies nicer than the PMDG. I think it sets up nicer as well. And that was my first time flying it. He was supposed to be more accurate according to the 737. I mean, it's been in development a lot longer, I suppose. Like I said, I fly planes, but I fly little paper planes compared to these big jets in, in, in real life. Like, I don't know nothing. All I know is how what I fly handles and uh, and, and, that, and that, that's it. So I can't really compare, but like if I fly both of them, Zebo definitely feels nicer. But I can land the PMG better than I can land the Zebo. The Zebo that other day wasn't the best landing.
Right, we'll take the Zebo again up on Monday then. Not sure where we'll fly yet. We'll try and get some ATC in. Well, I've uninstalled 11 now, so I've only got to explain 12. Hey, Busman, good evening, how are you? I think you're just coming to the end of our stream. I think this is our turning point, isn't it? it looks like it. So yeah, I've got lost loads on the way around, uh, which is always good. Absolute disaster. If you probably want a decent look at this map, definitely uh, go check Eamon's channel or Joe Dobson. They will uh, definitely give you a, a better lowdown than what I've done. I've done nothing but get lost as usual. I can't follow route markers. I don't know why. I'm just absolutely terrible. But the bus is here. We're in one piece. We managed to get there and back uh, on the X routes. So yeah, um, really nice. I'm, I'm just I'm in love with this repaint. I love the blues. But a good. Uh, a, a good start you know I like those X routes those smaller kind of half an hour routes are the kind of routes I prefer now I believe not much has changed on the other routes at the moment since this has all been added so maybe um, maybe I'll do a video of one of the other routes or maybe we'll live stream again apparently a bus got smashed under a bridge last night uh, no surprise that happens all the time as well um, but yeah thank you to Fully for allowing us to uh, have a look at it uh, thank you to all you guys as always you know, it's always great to see you all here. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you'll get a little bit excited for what's to come. And uh, I'm sure he'll keep everyone updated via his Discord slash uh, Fellows Film and stuff like that. As uh, I, I, There's obviously a lot more work that still needs to be done. Quite excited to check the bus out as well eventually. that would be nice if we get to have a look at that at some point. Uh, but thanks to all mods members and chat, everyone there. Good evening and uh, hopefully I will see you all again. Bye for now.